Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to uh, install and run um, PyLucene, uh, the Python, um, the Pythonic version of Lucene. Uh, but it's Lucene and even PyLucene; they're hard to kind of install, or it can be. It's you need a bunch of dependencies, uh, um, and this is a an easier way. Instead of downloading and installing Java and Ant, uh, you could just do it in a Docker. Uh, through a Docker image, so and, and if you're not familiar with Docker, you can just uh, look up videos on how to install it. It's pretty easy, um, and you just install it like any other program, pretty much. And then you log in um, into it just to make sure it's running. And and once your Docker is running, then you can go to. Um, they even have a graphical way of installing things now, where you can do a. a Graphically, basically, just click and um, create for this uh, uh, pylucene image. I just you just search pylucene, um, and there's about four of them, but I think this is the best one that I've. This is the one I'm using, and it, it works. The Cody pylucene um, image. So once you have that installed, then you want to go to your um, terminal, uh, and over here, um, there's a bunch of stuff that I was trying out, but ignore that. But as you see here, um, Docker run it, and then uh, Kodi Pylucene. So I'm 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 initiating that uh, that image, and then once I've pulled it up, um, you see that it's um, essentially working. So it's it's Python running with uh, Lucene. So I do print hello, you know, it does just like Python, and import Lucene. Um, and this command, you know, these show that it's you know it's working, and then print Lucene version and seven point you know six. That's the one that's running right now. Um, so it's running there, but you know it's difficult to code in the uh, in the environment here uh, in the in the terminal, uh, especially you don't have it. You don't have the you know syntax highlighting and all that stuff that you get in an IDE. So what you want to do is to start using PyLucene on an IDE like this, like a uh, PyCharm. So in PyCharm, the way uh, it works is, so you have the same exact commands here, and um, it's giving the same readout. So um, how you get that working? You need you need um, um, PyCharm, um, the from JetBrains, the professional version, and um, the only way you can get that is either being a student, which I'm a I'm a data science master student at a university. So um, you, there's that's I'm sure your university um, either has the program that allows you to to do that, or um, uh, JetBrains actually has a student uh, uh, sponsorship or sp student program where you can sign up with your school email and, and get it. So you'll get PyCharm Professional. Or I mean, your if you're a professional, your company probably already gives you access to it. Um, just don't use the community version. Sorry for the long-winded uh, remarks there. So once you have the uh, PyCharm professional version, uh, you can uh, go into like PyCharm uh, preferences um, and. Uh, you you have to change your project interpreter to to the Docker interpreter. So um, right now it's running this. So what what you have to do is set that up. Is you have to get um, I think you it might come with it, but you might have to get the plugin in the from the plugin store. Um, that's uh, the Docker integration uh, plugin. And you see that I already have it installed. So once you have the other Docker integration installed, then you can come back and uh, um, set up your interpreter. And for the interpreter, you can um, uh, there's you can find Docker here, but uh, I think you can just go into it with the professional version. You just go to interpreter, add, and then you see Docker right there. And then with Docker. Um, um, I have this this particular setup going. You press uh, new, and then for Mac, Docker for Mac kind of works automatically, so that's great. Um, and you just have to you don't have to you know mess with all this. And then you just uh, for the map path mapping, 
um, you do have to use a you know local path for like a local for folder uh, that you can um, create to keep your uh, project there and then your virtual um, machine path this is where you get you get this from um, you get this from uh, the docker here if you go to preferences um, right here under disk it's right here you just copy that you put that in there oh sorry you put it here and then over here you put in where you want to have your project and then you press OK uh, well right now there's nothing in there so uh, let me cancel that but once you do all that then you finally select this and you select from here your the, the thing you want to use the image you want to use you might have multiple images and then you uh, I'm just gonna cancel out because I'm already working on that project so um, yeah and then you'll see the interpreter change to docker and even says Cody Pilocene um, and it's and as you can see you know it's all working so here you take that again copy paste run it takes a second and then see it's working all right uh, if you have any questions put it in the comments and uh, thanks for watching